Hi, I'm Felicia Leggett Jack, the women's basketball coach at the University at Buffalo. This is a, a big day, a historic day for the future of our program, our athletic department. It's my honor to introduce your new women's basketball coach, Felicia Leggett Jack. This is not going to be about me. I've done some good things as a student athlete. I've done some things as a coach. But I think it's important that the face of the program are these young ladies right here. You know, they want it. They have a look in their eye that, that says that they, they want to be something significant. And when we went from the eight hour week to the now we're in the 20 hours a week, I thought that, that, that glitter that they had in their eye would decease a little bit. But they're still there. They're still hungry. They still want it. They, they come early. They leave late. It's a good feeling. I think one of the things that we really focused a lot more in this summer than in the past was definitely on conditioning. She kind of came in and gave us a standard that we were going to have to meet in the season and so we had a better idea of where we needed to be when the season began. This is my third staff, uh, third time being a head coach and my first pick was Al Walker. Al Walker is more intense than me and I find myself to be very intense. Uh, he comes from the uh, NBA. He was with Orlando Magic as an advanced scout. He was a head coach for over 13 years, and uh, he's not going to tell me something I want to hear. He's going to tell me something I need to hear. And he and I went out on the road by ourselves for the whole month of July because it had to fit the next people that we brought to our staff. The next person we hired was a young lady named Bernitha Johnson, and she's a slam dunk when it comes to recruiting. She knows the whole country. Uh, she was the associate head coach over at uh, Binghamton, and uh, she was a manager for uh, Tennessee under Pat Head Summit, so she understands what greatness looks like, and uh, I think that Buffalo is going to give her an opportunity to bring that talent here. And then the last person we hired is a young lady that you all are familiar with. Uh, she was playing over in Spain. Courtney Brown was a great player here. We talked to her about her alma mater, about bringing pride back here uh, to Buffalo as for women's basketball, and she jumped on the opportunity. So we have an unbelievable staff, and the person that's going to hold us all together is our basketball operation person, Paya. But she's been here for eight years, and she knows the system, the lay of the land, and uh, she keeps us moving in the right direction. I think as a women's basketball head coach, you have to be able to have a relationship uh, with your men's team. And not only do we have a relationship with, um, with Coach Witherspoon's staff and, and him, but I, I see a friendship forming. And I think that in order for us to, to create a dynasty that we're trying to create here, he and I both got to grow both the basketball programs. And uh, I love the fact that he's here and his staff is here. And we did, a, I think, a tremendous job with our staff. My philosophy uh, as a head coach is really simple. Uh, to understand that this game is a microcosm of life and how you play this game is gonna be a direct reflection on how you live your life. And um, I, I think that uh, you go out there and show your creativity, you go out there and you have a lot of fun, you play hard, you give it all you have, and every single day you leave that court, you'll be able to look in the mirror and say, did I leave it all out there, all, everything I had? And the answer is yes, and you sleep, put your head on the pillow and you sleep restful. But if it's not yes, then you have to get back up and pray that you'll have a tomorrow and you get out here and, and try harder. She motivates the team by capitalizing on her strengths. She works with what we have. She brings the best out of all of us. She pushes us to our full potential. If not, pushes us to our limit, which, which actually makes us better. Coming back home at age 46 has been a, a humbling experience, and I, I can't thank uh, our president and our director of athletics enough. Uh, our, our Buffalo here gave me an opportunity to come and at least look at being close to my mother, who's 79 years old, and I never thought that opportunity would present itself. And to be back here in New York, the state of New York, where I had my most experience and my most success, is it, the only way I can come up with humbling, grateful, and exciting. I love that my family can see me do something that I f find to be my, my oasis, is being in a, in, a, in a basketball gym. And so it's, it's a fit. It's a, it's a lovely fit that, that I, I know the blessings come from above, but I'm humbled by this opportunity.